Hey, Barry, come on! What the hell is that on the table? Divorce papers? Is this some kind of joke? It's no joke. Sorry to say, I'm serious. I want a divorce. Please sign it and send it over. In the next few days. What's up? Why all of a sudden? What did I do to deserve this? I just got sick and tired of even being with you. You always nitpick about everything I say and do. Then, when I don't do as you please, you have a hissy fit. It got even worse after the kid was born. Every other word is, it's a bad influence on children or some such nonsense. I just couldn't stand it any longer. I don't want to be tied down anymore. Huh? Are you serious? Do you think I enjoy saying things like that? How can I not say anything? You don't help out with the house chores or take care of our child. Nothing. All you do is lounge around on the couch and watch TV or sleep all day. You get home way earlier than me and you don't even bother to cook or clean up. You don't even go pick up little Jimmy at the nursery. The least you can do is throw the trash in the garbage can. And after eating, you just leave the dishes on the table. I mean, couldn't you even put them in the sink? I ask you to do something and it's always put off for later. You just go about your own business. Growing up watching a dad like that? What will he think when he grows up? I got my way of doing things. I like to put everything aside and do it all at once when I have enough time. You think the whole world revolves around you. Besides, I work hard all day and when I get home, I'm tired as hell. Unlike you. What? You do realize I'm also working. Help out when you have enough time, huh? It just sounds like you don't want to help out at all. Before we got married, you promised we would share all the household chores. What happened to that? That's the kind of thing that makes me sick, digging up stuff from way back when. I thought you were cute once, but now you're just a nagging middle-aged hag. All I want is to be free. You've been doing as you please ever since we met. Now you want to be free? Seems a little unreasonable. As a father and as a husband, you're being all too irresponsible. Jimmy is only four years old. Are you just gonna toss all that aside? Well, you did say I was a bad influence, right? No matter what you say, I'm never going back there again. I just want that divorce. Oh yeah, and don't worry about the money. I'll pay alimony. I'm a responsible person after all. <laughs> Alright. Do as you like. Have your divorce or whatever you want. Long as you pay alimony. I don't give a damn. Finally come to your senses, huh? Okay, then. I left the papers on the table, so sign them and send them back ASAP. Oh yeah, about the house. I bought a new condo, so... You can continue living in that home. If you have the money to pay the mortgage, that is. <laughs> Seriously? Wow, thanks. Huh? Well, I'm pretty used to living here. I like it. If you're gonna give it to me, I'll take it. Jimmy's having a good time at his nursery. I would hate for him to move and have to make new friends. Thanks so much. We'll just go on with our lives as usual. Huh? You sure it's okay? Are you going to be able to pay? Pay? Yeah, the mortgage and all. Well, I'm gone. Well, income will really drop, right? As you know, if you're late on your payments, well, you know, do you really get it? Of course. I'm not an idiot. I'm way ahead of you on such matters. I can take care of the mortgage and all household expenses with my earnings. Come on, with your meager pay? No way! <laughs> a receptionist at a mid-level firm? Don't make me laugh. How could you maintain a family, much less pay a mortgage? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm not a receptionist. I'm a registered nurse. I'm the head nurse at St. James Memorial Hospital. What? And I also have real estate holdings for my father who recently passed away, as you know. I also have considerable stocks, so I'm not hurting for cash or anything. Head nurse at the hospital? You? Your dad's real estate holdings? Stocks? This is the first time I'm hearing all this. 
Seriously? You didn't know? Don't tell me you didn't know what your wife did for a living. How many years have we been married for God's sake? I'm sure I told you all about my father's real estate holdings and the stocks I have. Well, now that you mention it, I suppose I do remember you saying something about it. So, you weren't listening at all? Well, I can understand not knowing about the stocks or my dad's assets, but how could you not know what my job is? Goes to show that you had zero interest in me. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. So, no problem paying the mortgage all by yourself? And living expenses? Even without me? Do you really think you were doing it all on your own? Your bring home pay is less than $2,000. You really think that's enough to support a family of three? And you were only giving us a meager $500 as living expenses. Please, don't make me laugh. What? How dare you! I'm just stating facts here. So, we'll be just fine without you. Don't worry about us. Have a good life. Yeah, well, okay. Just don't forget to sign and send those papers. I got my own bank book. So all splitting up of our assets, that's all done. Okay, that's all I have to say. Wait a second. We haven't finished yet. Huh? We're done. We divorce and I leave. We're done. What else is there? I'll give you the house and half of our savings. Isn't that enough? Are you on life support? There are still some important money matters left to discuss. About that condo you say you bought? Huh? What about it? You don't think I can afford it or something? You got a problem with me living in a new condo? I really don't care where you live. I just want to know where you got the money to buy it. What's it to you? I can do whatever I want. No, you can't. You paid for that out of our joint account, right? That deposit you paid. So, what of it? I saved that money. Every month out of my salary. It's my money. I can do whatever I want with it. It's got nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me. That money was from our joint account. I've been depositing money into that account every month. So that money you used to buy the condo? It's half mine. Or, more accurately, 70% is mine. I expect to get all that back. What? 70%? No way that's accurate! I have the cash card! How did you deposit money into the account? You can deposit with the bank book. Are you daft? I'm managing all the accounts we have with the bank. If you look at the transaction record, you'll see how much I deposited over three years. It's all there. You're not serious. But I did think there was more than expected in here. Well, that's part of our assets. I get half. Make sure I get all that back. I don't have that kind of money. Are you crazy? Anyway, I used up all the money when I bought the condo. How am I supposed to pay 70%? That's just not possible. Well, if you can't pay the money back, there is no other choice, I suppose. Hey, I got an idea. Jimmy and I could use it as a vacation getaway. <laughs> what are you talking about? No way you can do that. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, you did buy the place so you could live there with your... girlfriend. Huh? Girlfriend? Why do you... Huh? You really didn't think I knew? I knew from way back what you were up to. That you were seeing that girl from the club. You're kidding me. I took every precaution to keep it quiet. Every precaution? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> All those nights you came home drunk. You think you got changed and got into bed all on your own? All the evidence was in your suit pocket. Receipts from the club, business cards... I still got all the receipts, by the way. Adds up to quite a bit. Always coming home reeking of perfume and booze. Oh yeah, you often called out some girl's name in your drunken stupor. It's so obvious you were having an affair. <laughs> sure would like to hear some of these precautions that you supposedly took. <laughs> You're joking, right? You know, I was gonna let it slide if you were just having a little fling. You know, letting off steam. 
But then, you take my money and buy a condo so you can live with her. And then demand a divorce? That was the last straw. Okay, so let's get this straight. Pay the 70% you used to buy the condo, the divorce settlement, and child support. Oh yeah, as you said, I get the house. Do you plan on taking everything? You're going to leave me penniless! You're... a monster! I'm just demanding what I'm owed. I don't think it's an unreasonable demand at all. But... if you make me pay that... I have nothing! I need money to live up... What am I supposed to do? I guess you just have to sell the condo. I know you just bought it, and I feel for you. But... I suppose it can't be helped. Although we are husband and wife, you did steal money from our account. Oh, and another thing. That girl from the club. I visited her the other day. Huh? Visited her? How did you... Like I said, I have those receipts and business cards. It was easy. I pressed her on having an affair with you. You know what she said? She said she has no intention of living with you. She said she wants to keep it a business relationship. You're just another customer to her. Huh? When did she say that? That can't be true. But she said it was her dream to marry a guy like me. How long have you been going to these kinds of clubs? That's just bar talk. Besides, she never came right out and said she wanted to marry you, right? Seems like you were just in your little fantasy world. So, I'll hang on to the divorce papers for now. Work out the money matters, would you please? Huh? Wait one second, please! What I just said was all just a joke! A prank! <laughs> Come on! You really think I was serious? I'm heading home right now, so let's talk about this! There is nothing more to talk about. You have your freedom now. Go and live your life as you please. You never have to come home. See ya! Wait! Come on! Right after that conversation, Barry came running home, but I locked up the house tight, put a chain on the door and just ignored his pleas. He eventually gave up and left. I hired a lawyer and demanded that Barry pay the money he owes me, adequate compensation and child support, as well as the house. It took a while, but all the demands were met and I signed the divorce papers. Barry had to sell the condo and ended up clearing out all his meager savings. I heard he's using a spare storage room at work as his home. Mom, we need to talk about what happened at the hospital today. I can't believe you did that. What are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know. You were yelling at my wife. You were screaming at her, saying that her terrible driving is what caused this to happen to me. You blamed her for it. That's because it is her fault. She was the one driving when you got into the accident and this terrible thing happened to you. Now my baby is paralyzed from the waist down. But that's not what happened. How many times do I have to tell you this? We were stopped at a red light and we were rear-ended by a guy in a truck who had fallen asleep at the wheel. It's not my wife's fault. Even if she had noticed the truck coming behind us, we couldn't have moved. Because there were stopped cars in front of us, too. But if this accident wouldn't have happened, you'd still be a normal person. I'm your mom. I have to get mad at someone. Did you just say I'd still be a normal person? Are you saying I'm not a normal person anymore? Look, I don't care what you say your reason for getting angry is. It's not my wife's fault, and I don't ever want to hear you say that to her again. She got hurt in this accident too. So, I don't care about someone else's child. I'm just so worried about you. You can't blame me for getting upset. You don't care what happens to someone else's child? You know she's my wife, right? She's part of our family. And this isn't the worst thing in the world that could have happened to me. 
I'll be in a wheelchair, but I'll still be able to go to work and carry on like normal. So, I don't need any more worry from you than what's absolutely necessary. So, this is what I get for caring about my son. Fine, if that's what you want. Alex, I have to tell you something. I was thinking about this a lot last night. And I think it'd be best if we just cut all ties to each other and never spoke to each other again. What? Well, now that you're paralyzed... To put it bluntly, you can't really take care of yourself anymore, can you? If you can't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of me when I get older? Take care of you? Huh? You're saying, since I can't care for you when you get older, you want nothing to do with me anymore? Well, not just that. But even now, I don't have the time or energy to take care of you in your condition. I'm too old to be looking after anyone anymore. I know you've been helping me out with some bills since I don't work, but don't worry about me. I'll just live off of the inheritance I got from your father when he died. And having one less family member to worry about will make things a lot easier for me. Just consider me not taking care of you in your current state as payment for raising you when you were a child. You're okay with all this, right? You must be out of your mind. Is this what a mom says to her child after he gets into a major car accident? I can't believe you. But you see where I'm coming from, don't you? I worked so hard to raise you. I did everything for you and raised you so well, hoping you'd return the favor for me when I got older. But it seems that's not possible anymore. A son that can't even walk by himself is of no use to me. So, please, just let me go. Let me be free from you. Fine. But just so I've got this straight... You're saying you gave birth to me and raised me just so that I could take care of you when you're older. And now that I can't walk, I'm worthless to you, so you don't want to ever see me again? Well, it sounds bad when you say it like that, but... Yes. This isn't my fault. Planning is the most important thing in life. I was planning for my future then, and I'm planning for my future now. I gave this a lot of thought. If we cut all ties to each other, I'll be fine. I can live off of my husband's inheritance. And this way, you won't have to worry about looking after me when I get older. It's a win-win. Look, do whatever you want. If you don't ever want to speak to me again, that's fine by me. But if you're cutting all ties to me, that means you better never contact me ever again. I know what it means. I should be telling you that. <laughs> that means I don't want you stepping foot in this house again trying to get anything your dad left to me. Starting tomorrow, we're not related anymore. Alex. You came to my house today, didn't you? Why did you take my fridge and my TV? Bring those things back here right now! Those are mine. I bought them myself with my own money when I was living there. I'm sorry for leaving them there when I moved out. I shouldn't have left my stuff there for so long. Sorry about that. I'm glad that spare key was still in the fake rock we put in the garden. Oh, by the way, I put all the food from the fridge into a cooler in the garage. I suggest you eat it all before it goes bad. I can't believe you. I never thought my own son would be this petty. Oh, wait. You're not my son anymore. <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't care about those things. Like you said, they've been here a long time. They're old. I'll just use some of your dad's inheritance and buy new ones. Yeah, why not? It was only the newest model of fridge when it came out. 
and a 75-inch OLED 4K TV shouldn't set you back too much. <laughs> Just use some of Dad's money to go get new ones, lol. It's your money now. Do whatever you want. I don't need you to tell me that, but that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Don't message me anymore. And don't try stepping foot in this house again. If you do, I'll call the cops. Huh. You were the one who messaged me. Alex. What do you want now? You keep messaging me even though you said you never wanted us to speak again. I just have one last thing I want to say to you. What? I threw out everything that was in your old room. And I mean everything. What? Well, don't blame me. Why would I want a total stranger's things in my house? Remember, we're strangers now. Yesterday was garbage day, so I put everything out to the curb. I watched them put it all into the back of the garbage truck, too. You didn't throw out all the hockey and baseball cards that were in the cardboard box, did you? If it was in your room, then yes, I did. Oh no, don't tell me I threw out something you really wanted, did I? <laughs> I'm sorry. But it was taken to the dump yesterday, so there's no way to get it back now. So don't message me ever again. I don't want to hear from you anymore. You did a really stupid thing, Mom. Huh? Are you saying you threw out everything Dad left to you in his will? The things Dad left to me? What are you talking about? Dad's collection. I can't believe you did that. A lot of those cards are worth between $500 to $2,000 a piece. Dad had so many rare cards. The value of cards varies year by year, but I'm sure you'd have gotten at least 100 k if you'd have sold them all. Huh? What are you talking about? You're kidding, right? Sports cards are just a kid's game, aren't they? Trading cards aren't a game. Rookie cards of popular or famous players can be worth big bucks. Why did you think Dad was collecting them and holding on to them in the first place? I think you need to check this out for yourself on the internet. See what some cards sell for. Dad had a ton of amazing cards. Did you never listen to him when he talked about them? You know I don't like sports. If it involved sports or stupid cards, I never listened to a word he said. Ha <laughs> ha. Alex. I'm still waiting for you to say gotcha. You weren't kidding, were you? Those things are worth money? Wait a minute. If they were worth money, how come you didn't take them with you? Oh, I couldn't take those with me. He left those to you. He was specific about that in his will. Huh? You know Dad was a collector. He collected everything. A lot of the stuff he collected just gets more valuable the older it gets. That's why he didn't sell anything before he died. He left you the things that would be worth the most in the future. You know he gave me a few of the bigger, heavier antiques for me and my wife's new house. But he left all the small stuff for you because it would be easier to store, move around, or just sell. I know that! But I didn't know trading cards were worth anything! They're just small pieces of cardboard! Obviously, you didn't know. Dad told you before he died that if you ever needed money, you could sell his collections. I assumed if the time came that you ever needed to sell things, I'd come and help you with it. But then you decided to never speak to me again because of my accident. I had no idea! Well, I never thought you'd throw that stuff out. You knew those cards were part of Dad's collections. It's kind of funny. He threw me away, then you threw those cards away. Haha. <laughs> they were in your old room! I thought they were yours! Mom, I moved out long ago. I live with my wife. I have everything of mine here. I have everything Dad left me in his will, too. I came back the other day to get the only things of mine that were still in that house. 
the fridge, and the TV. Everything else in there is yours. Alex, please. You've got to go to the dump and try to get those cards back for me. Huh? No way. I'm in a wheelchair. I can't go there and do that. But you said they're worth over 100k! You can probably find them if you get there right away. I can't search around a dump in a wheelchair. Besides, cars are worth money based on condition. They were probably crushed in the back of the garbage truck. I can't see them being worth anything now. The plastic card cases they were in wouldn't protect them from a garbage truck's trash compactor. Stop making excuses and try! At least a few of them must have survived. Wait, I've got it. If you can get those cards back for me, I'll let you be my son again. Then I'll be able to help support you again. I don't need you to support me. I'm a grown man. What are you talking about? You're in a wheelchair. You can't do anything by yourself. I'm not by myself. I'm married. My wife is here. And you know what my job is, don't you? You know I'm a 3D sculptor. People hire me to make models and sculpts for everything from plastic miniatures for painting to scale prototypes of projects. I sit at a desk and use 3D sculpting software all day. I don't need legs to do that. There are tons of jobs where people just sit at a desk all day. I don't know why you think people in wheelchairs can't do anything. Huh? You mean, even though you had a big accident and you can't walk anymore, your income isn't going to change? Exactly. You really don't know anything about me, do you? In fact, I'll be getting a big settlement from insurance for this accident I had. I'll probably never need to work again. But I will, because I love my job. What? You're getting money from this accident? I didn't know all that. Well, it doesn't matter to you anyway. I'm not your son anymore. Alex! Why are you being so cold to your mom all of a sudden? Your dad died, and you moved out. I'm all by myself. How about you and your wife come live with me? Come over for dinner tonight. Let's talk about it. No way. Do you think I'm stupid? Why are you saying that to me anyway? You're the one who wanted to cut all ties with me. Alex, please. Things are really tough for me. Thinking about my future now is making me really uncomfortable. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I assumed it would. That's why I put the cards in a spot you'd easily see them in, in case you wanted to sell them. You were the one who went on a rampage and wanted to destroy anything you thought was mine. Honestly, I don't even feel sorry for you anymore. I've got it. How about you give me all the antiques that Dad left to you? I don't care if they're big and heavy. Huh? Why would I do that? Dad left those things to me and my wife. I'm not going to get rid of them. I don't want you selling them for money. Those things are all I have left of Dad. He treasured those things, and I'm going to treasure them too. At least give me a couple of them. You don't want those old things sitting in your new house. They won't match anything. Giving them to me is your best option, don't you think? Your dad would be happy too because you'd be helping me out. You just don't get it, do you? Anyway, I'm not giving you anything Dad left to me. And there's no way on earth me and my wife are going to move in with you. From now on, I'm not even going to reply to any of your messages. You're so insensitive. I can't stand talking to you anymore. I've got money left in the bank. I don't need you or those antiques Dad left you. Yeah, about that. Mom, you're relying too much on that money Dad left you. I think you need to get a job. What do you have left in the bank? How much is it? Like, 100k? Yeah, so what? That's more than enough. How many people do you know with 100k in their bank account? I'm rich. 
Do you think you can live off of that for the rest of your life? Huh? It's a hundred K! Yeah, and how much do you spend now in a year? Twenty thousand? Just do some simple math and you'll see that it's only gonna last you about five years. When dad was alive and working, your standard of living was a little high. That's why he could afford to buy all those antiques and things. But that's impossible for you now. What are you saying? Are you saying I'm gonna have to cut back on my spending even more than I am now? I can't do that. I've got 100k in the bank. There are so many things that I want to buy. But mom, planning is the most important thing in life, remember? <laughs> I know you can do it, mom. Oh, and by the way, don't even think about coming to live with us. We don't let strangers into our house. Alex, wait. I'm not a stranger. We're family. Let's talk about this. Alex! Mom, I'm paralyzed, remember? Having one less family member to worry about will make things a lot easier for me. You've got the rest of Dad's inheritance to do whatever you want with. And I've got a wife who loves me and will help take care of me. It's a win-win, isn't it? After that, my mom rushed to the dump by herself. Apparently, the people at the dump didn't give her permission to go looking around by herself, so she snuck in. The police were called, and by the time they dragged her out of the dump, she was covered in garbage and stunk to high heaven. The police assumed she was off some sort of medication or something, so they brought her to my house. But I explained to them that we've cut all ties to each other, and that I wouldn't be taking responsibility for her. The police had no choice but to take her back to her house, as it was clear they didn't want her stinking up their lockup area even for one night. <laughs> a few days after that, my wife and I returned home to find quite a surprise. When we opened our door, it looked as if a tomato had gone through the inside of our house. We had been broken into. But I knew that it was my mom who had broken in and was looking around for anything of value that my dad had left me. I swear my mom doesn't listen to anything anyone tells her. Because I told her that dad left all the small things to her. Nothing of mine was taken, because all the antiques I got from dad were way too big for my mom to move by herself. But my mom had tested my patience to their limit, and I decided to call the police on her for breaking into my house. When the police came and picked her up for the second time within a week... They explained how serious the consequences for breaking and entering could be if I proceeded to press charges. My mom realized that I was serious, and that she needed to back off. And she seems to be leaving me alone now, at least for the time being. It's possible that I might decide to start speaking to her again some day in the future. But as for now, we've put our house up for sale. And we're going to be moving away without telling her where we're moving to. I'm changing my cell phone number too. That way, I won't have to worry about her not talking to me ever again and messaging me every few days. 